Yes, Mrs. 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 Speaker, would be remiss of me if I didn't stand to support this motion, Mr. Speaker. I do not am um, not going to give a, a history of my support for women and women's issues. These these are well known, Mr. Speaker. Everybody knows my position when I say to my colleagues that if you're in politics and you don't have the support of women, you are on the verge of never winning. So my respect and my support for women is well known, my respect for them. Um, in my business and my political life, at all levels, even when I was a government minister, there were women as my permanent secretary, etc. And I always took a firm stand against sexual <coughs> harassment. That as I've always said, that people have their choices, and whereas um, you can't be a moral police, you must ensure that in a workplace it's free from sexual harassment. I've been very firm on that, Mr. Speaker, and I continue to maintain that sexual harassment is an offense. Choices are different from harassment. And I hope that someday in the parliament, we probably can have a, a, some legislation or something that will deal with the issue of sexual harassment. Because too many young girls and ladies are faced with the dilemma of saying yes or losing their job. That has to stop, Mr. Speaker. People must say yes when they want. I. I'm, not, I'm in no position to judge when people must say yes or no. But the idea of being yes, saying yes, is a consequence of your future, Mr. Speaker. It's something that must stop. And I hope that whereas we do not pretend to be too prudish, as some of us in, pretend to be, Mr. Speaker, we must take a strong position on sexual harassment. A very strong position, Mr. Speaker. So I want to congratulate the President of the Senate who is, has been pushing this motion. She almost threatened me that if I didn't put it out, I would suffer the consequences. And so I had to ensure that the leader of government business caused the motion to be, on, to be tabled. I'm very pleased. And I'm sure all of us are pleased that this motion is on the table. So all I want to do is to congratulate the people who got involved in the charter. I know there are charters in Trinidad, there are charters in as far as Pakistan. And I hope that, that the charter can grow and not only remain a talk shop. And it can deal with the reality of life and talking to young girls, etc. And let's though try to get get involved in things that are unrealistic and things that we just dream of. Let's deal with the reality, what really happens with young girls and young women to help them to advance themselves, the value of education, self-worth, the value of themselves, how important they are to the, to, to, to the human race, and not anything, things that are not really practical or real, Mr. Speaker. So I want to congratulate you, and you can, call, you can expect the full support of the government and the full support of the Prime Minister. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.